Through my involvement with the local grower group, the Courage and Farm Improvement Group, I got to witness um, some fairly dramatic responses with moldboard ploughing on a neighbouring property who was addressing non-wetting soils and weed issues. So I attempted to replicate those results here by doing my, my own trials and found that we're getting quite large yield responses from moldboard ploughing at the same time we're bearing uh, problem weed seeds, herbicide resistant weeds um, at depth where they couldn't make it to the surface um, and that was how we started this journey of moldboard ploughing. Back in 2013 we ploughed approximately 30 hectares. We would ploughed some heavier clay based soils and that created some establishment issues. Um, however, on the right soils that year we saw some dramatic responses in both yield and also weed control. So from there that really gave me the confidence to um, invest in my own plough. I made contact with a machinery dealer in England and arranged a plough to be shipped out in a shipping container with parts and that cost me approximately $20,000 all up. Had I bought a new plough in Australia, equivalent size plough would have been around $70,000. This is the moldboard plough which I imported from the UK second hand. I think I got a pretty good buy. It's a seven run machine. Some key features of this plough which are important are this skimmer plate here which pushes the, the very top layer, the top soil which contains the weed seeds into the bottom of the furrow which is created by the main board and the small plate on the end of the main board which helps totally invert that topsoil to 30 centimetres. The other important thing about this plough is these hydraulic brake arms. We've got uh, rocks and stumps below the surface and that means these uh, boards can break out and return to their position once they hit an obstacle. Yeah, so we've done our own trials here comparing moldboard ploughing to untreated and also deep ripping and uh, over a number of years and on average we achieve between 800 and 900 kilograms a hectare yield response in the first year. However those yield responses continue on and we've found that we're still getting responses after three or four years so the benefits really continue more than one year. So we like to monitor how we're modifying the soil profile and one way to do that is to, to dig a soil pit and we can share these results with our farming peers in the local area. In the soil pit here we see an example of the effect of moldboard ploughing where the topsoil is buried at 20 to 30 centimetres. In that topsoil are the weed seeds which are unlikely to make it to the surface from that depth. The new topsoil is now um, Formerly the subsoil which has higher clay content in it and is wettable. The other interesting thing here is the topsoil is more acidic than the subsoil so we always apply lime prior to burying that topsoil. And below this uh, layer here we have the subsoil which includes a mixture of gravel and clay which is quite a nice subsoil for root growth. There are challenges we've come across with moldboard ploughing and some of these include crop establishment. Moldboard ploughing creates a very soft seed bed so we can bury seeds too deep in the seeding process. To address that we've been very careful where we place our seed but also increased our, our seeding rates by about 20%. The other issue is topsoil that has low organic matter levels and being soft as well, we have run into herbicide damage. The other challenge we've come across is that on our gravelly, shallow gravelly soils, it's very hard on our moldboard plough with the ripping action. So we're now looking at using a different machine on those soil types. Okay, so an alternative to uh, the moldboard plough for topsoil inversion is to use a one-way disc plough. Uh, when this needs to be modified to increase the breakout so we can um, use a much larger disc than this the original disc. To do this 
We remove the hub of every second arm and connect these two arms together. We do that right along the machine and brace the rest of the machine for extra strength and that does a similar job to the moldboard plough. Moldboard ploughing is quite a slow process. We do about three hectares an hour, so it's a longer term project to cover 70% of the farm. At the moment we've done about a third of the property. It's important that the soil profile is wet um, before you moldboard plough, so it means that we need to wait for good rains or uh, we, we do the ploughing on chemical fallowed country where we know we've got moisture. So summarising this, I found that the moldboard plough is probably the most suitable machine for this property, for, for a majority of the soil types to address a key soil constraint here, which is non-wetting soils. We will continue to moldboard plough across the, the farm until we've done all the suitable soil types, but at the same time we're looking at other soil amelioration operations such as deep ripping and the one-way modified plough. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.